24 karat. Maybe that's the same ones I just sold for 180. I'll take 40 for them. I'll do 80 for all three of these. 120, throw that in. everybody welcome back or welcome to the channel uh, we are buy low sell high my name is Tony Joseph and we uh, we go to yard sales garage sales estate sales in order to find things um, that we can sell in order to make a profit today um, we wanted to go ahead and just share with you guys um, the opportunity that there is just every day of the week today is actually Thursday and we were both able to walk away with a few hundred dollars in profit just by going to uh, just to a few sales in town so I looked this up we were at an estate sale it's an Epson perfection Boom. What's going on YouTube? So today I got a couple of these watches, about $14 into them. I gave the woman a dollar for this one right here, which is an Alavente. If you have it with the, you know, little band that it comes with in the box, it's an easy $160 sell. I looked it up on eBay and it still had a bid, couple, couple bids. It was still an auction for about hundred bucks. 13 minutes left on the auction. Sold though. So my dollar, hundred bucks. These watches right here, a couple Citizens, a couple Seikos. This right here is a gold Hamilton watch. Of course, it's going to be gold filled, gold plated, whatever you like to call it, but it's still a nice watch. About 80 bucks here, 60 a piece on these guys. This one right here really couldn't make out the name, but still probably a $40 watch. I'm already into the pot with this guy, so that's good. Right here, we got another Seiko Quartz, about a $40, $50 watch. Went down to another sale, got a little Sansui video cassette player. Whenever you see Sansui, you know it's good. You can go anywhere between 50 bucks to higher end models of Sansui, which go for about 18 to 2200 bucks, depending on what the model is. For the receivers though, That's right? good, the receivers, yes. This guy right here, I looked it up on eBay. It's about 45 to 65 bucks. I paid $3 for it. I gave her three bucks. She wanted five for it. Yeah. This one right here, Epson Perfection V600. This one right here with the cord sells for about 265 bucks. I think it's a nine CV or 12 CV or something like that that it takes for the power cord. We got a bunch of cords. I gave the guy 20 bucks for this, told him 15, had it at 30. Still, I'll turn my 20 bucks into about 180. Um, I got this jacket right here. I paid two bucks for this. I honestly just liked it for myself. It's a double XL my size. I'm into the black, white, and gray, so that's cool. But it's a cool style though. It's really nice. It's cool. It's like a little jumper, windbreaker yeah. type of deal. But I mean, it's a cool little jacket. If I wanted to sell it, 20 bucks. Went down to another sell, got this. For anybody that knows these, Spyderco, good Dude, knife. Dude, these are good. I sold a Spyderco knife. I had one, and it sold literally in, I think, like 30 minutes of me listing it for $170, yeah. and it was a smaller one. Yes, sir. But this model, uh, it's it not is a HCR 13 MOV, but still this one right here, 50 bucks. I gave him 20 for all just because of the names on them and people, you know, they're sought after items. Got the Spyderco, got a nice little K bar. USA or Taiwan, 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 Pokemon, Charizard. <laughs> Good little knife, about $40, $50. So I'm already up on this knife right here just by itself, let alone shipping won't be too bad on that. That's under 16 ounces, pound. Good little $5 in shipping. This right here, about 30. This is a Buck USA Fisherman's Knife. Little pro line. This goes for about 35 to 40. So I'm in. So in for the money this on lot this. here of knives total, you paid 20 dollars, right? 20 bucks. So that's 40, 80, 120. After all the good stuff with eBay, I'm probably about 100 bucks on my 20. So I'm up 80. So that itemized is about six dollars and 50 cents a piece. Yes. So with that being said, you're gonna sell this one for 50. You said about, 40 and 40. About 40 and 40. Yes. Yeah, so Even you, if I made 30 bucks a piece on them, 30, 60, 90, my 20, I'm up 60 or 70. Yeah. 70 bucks out of my 20, which is still good. So good. But that's good. That's some really meaty profit margins. And by that, I mean like he's going to sell one and he's going to be in the profit on all of them. So even if the other ones don't sell, he still made a profit and he's still got two other knives. Because you don't want to pay too much for stuff. It's 57. I'm about 57 bucks. I'll make my money back hopefully on this guy so everything else is free 100 like i had said all ranges but today was a good day and before it being a thursday there's not a lot of sales due to people working and usually when there are sales thursday like monday through about the thursday range it's a lot of old people kids toys baby stuff people that don't have jobs that like to just collect money for the monthly rent and it kind of sucks but 
opportunity comes at its finest thursday treasures there we go so as you guys can see with the spider co knives it's a very fine elegant beautiful beautiful men's knife but for myself i got a beautiful men's wife amazing mwah, gorgeous lover girl we got over Aww. there all right so i'm gonna go ahead and talk about everything that, that i got today um here on thursday so I, i'm a total of 126 dollars into everything uh first thing i picked up was this uh this nike jacket she wanted five for it i gave her three i uh, should be able to sell it for about 25 i believe it's a nice little windbreaker um these shirts these are all vintage tees they're all single stitch i paid two dollars each they're women's shirts um but i looked this one up i believe this one this one sold for 25 so after fees and everything, I should be able to turn, I don't know, conservatively my $6 into uh, $45, $15 each, which I think is pretty good. So we're about $60 profit on that stuff there. Um, what was the next thing? Oh, I paid $2 for this. It was department 56, so I picked it up. Um, I thought it was gonna be good, but it's actually only worth like 10 or 15. It's missing one of the trees. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna part each one out and I should be able to get like $10 a piece on each one. So that's what, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So that's like $90 if I part everything out. Still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do on that. We'll figure it out when the time comes. So uh, next, what did I get next? Okay, so this was the last sale that we went to. I think I paid a total of $75 or something like that. But, so I got these three knives for 15. Um, he started at $20. I started to walk away from the guy because I was like, wow, $20 is a lot to pay for these knives. I ended up getting them down to five. So I got all three of these for 15. This one is just, I don't know, Rucco. This one's a Cricut, which is a good brand. This one I believe sells for, what'd you say? That one sells for like 40? About 35, 40. Yeah, 35 to 40 on that. This is a Gerber. So these Gerbers, Gerber is a good brand. I think this specific knife sells for about 15 to 20. I'll be able to turn my 15 here into about, I don't know, 60. Um, so next, I think this was a pretty good buy. This is from the same guy. Paid $40 for all of these. Um, dang, that freaking wind. Paid $40 for all these walkie talkies and gps's so there's a total of 20 here along with some miscellaneous batteries and such as well as the case so that puts me into these for about two dollars each so if i sell these online for 15 dollars each i make 10 that's what 10 times 20. yes yeah, so that's about 200 dollars. you know conservatively um this was my favorite buy of the day here these pokemon cards i asked the kid about if he had any pokemon cards he brought them out he said he didn't want to sell them but I gave him two Jacksons and he was happy. So if you look here, there's some good cards in here. A lot of them, uh, full arts, holographics, reverse hollows, things like that. On the first page here, we've got a Charizard. Look that one up, that one sells for like 20, I believe. And then that Venusaur. So I should be able to get my money back just out of these two cards and then the rest of profit. And I might keep some as well because I'm a freaking nerd and I love Pokemon. Pokemon. All right, so, and then from the same kid, he was asking $90 for his Xbox. I was just honest with him. I was like, dude, I can pay you $15 because they only sell for like 50 to 60, but it's good inventory to sell on eBay. So I paid him. Um, he actually took $20 and he was happy with it. So $20, I got all the stuff for. Um, there's three connects here. Each one of these connects, I believe sells for like 15 bucks. So I'll be able to get my money back out of the two of the connects. This one's in the box. So being that it's in the box and I think I actually have this game, I think I actually have that game too so I can pair it with this and then probably sell that for like 30 or 40. Um, and then the, the console goes for like 60. Doesn't have any controllers but I got some extra controllers at the house. And then each one of these games is probably like 10. So um, I should be able to turn my 126 into about 500 on a Thursday. I would say it's a good day. I might be able to, uh, to get something to eat today. We might be able to get a couple cheeseburgers. And that's about it. Oh yes, just the people we wanted to see. Look at this, I Where's just paid those $50. Watches? Don't sit this stuff right here. <laughs> All right, so uh, Joseph and Papa G just got back from a sale. Uh, they're about to show us a bunch of cool stuff that they got. What are you guys doing? Hey, we did We got some stuff. Let me show you what I got. Hold on. Did you buy those glasses? Nah, Joe did. Joe bought 24 karat gold. Yeah, show me I'm these about, glasses. I'm about to pop yeah, those mugs. Yeah. 24 karat. Yep, it's on yeah, there. Right there. I don't know if you can hey, see it in the camera. Five dollars. He paid five dollars for these. I'm gonna give him twenty. Watch. Put that in the video. Did you buy it or did he buy it? Joe bought them. Joe bought them. 
five dollars. They're Command USA 24 karat gold aviator glasses. These are sick. Look at Joe's got on. Look at that. Oh my God. Get about it. Dude, look at the Lumi Glow on this Movado though. You got some really good watches here. Look at that Movado. He just got this Movado yesterday. He sold to me for 70 for my collection. It's like a, there's, this watch is selling new for like $900, no joke. And I got it for 70. Look at this, New England Patriots, $50 watch, but guess what? What he happened? Threw it in for free because Ooh. we did good jobs for it. So it's $50 in your pocket for now. Yeah. Yeah, and so Steve, he pretty much runs like a, uh, you run like a man cave store pretty man much, right? Store. Yeah, so people are gonna eat that stuff up when they come to his, to his, uh, to his garage. Hey, and the best buy of the day, best buy folks, seven samurai swords and world war ii swords oh yeah we're gonna show you guys that uh, those right now they're pretty crazy five hundred dollar purchase probably two thousand crazy that is nuts i know nothing about samurai swords but if papa g says the money's there then the money's there right papa g why well, stay any glow on this watch though look Ooh, lumi glow on the movado that's pretty nice bro look at that look at the lumi glow on that one yeah, that's real nice. This is like a Brit. This is like in the Britley range right here. So, what'd you pay total for all these watches? Um, three hundred. Burberry. Yeah. Dang, you got some high-end stuff. Look at this Seiko. No Movado, I mean. Look at this Se uh, Citizen Eco Drive. You should see the Indie Glow on this one too. It's clean. Yeah, these are easily one to two hundred dollar watches. Resale. Yeah, another one. Another, it's a Seiko, bro. That's like the one you have, but that one's in good condition. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he kept it in a safe. That's like the one you sold, but this one's all in, intact. Wow, this one's nice. What is this? Air blue? Yeah, that look, they're all automatic too, bro. No batteries. All of so them. So it's an air blue. Every single one of them. Citizen Eco Drive. Alto watch. This one's vintage for sure. It is. We found it for a hundred dollars. Nixon. That's probably sixty to eighty dollars sale right there. This one right here. I don't know. I have to look at the numbers on it, but that's probably sixty, eighty dollars sale. Look at this. Look at all this. This uh, Movado. Cast iron. Cast iron stuff. Burberry watch. It's probably a hundred dollar watch. It's uh, that one sells for two seventy seven in green. <laughs> the Burberry one? Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! It's automatic. Look at these vintage train cast iron trains. What'd you pay for all this? One hundred and fifty for all this. Oh, this is your stuff? Uh, the beer carts, two of them in there. The horse with beer carts. Uh, really cool. Nice one. And I think you could do really good on some of this stuff. Why, you can't do nothing with it or what? I don't do the eBay as much as you do. Yeah, so your I, buyers don't like stuff like I've that. Got my, uh, yeah, I've got the man cave stuff in my garage. Yeah. So you're better off with that stuff. I thought of you when I bought it. So Steve said he'll sell all this stuff to me for what he paid for it, 150 bucks. A lot of this stuff is cast iron collectibles. Cast iron collectibles are really good sellers on eBay. Look at that, Sexton 1971 USA. I'm gonna look up a few of these things and then I'm probably gonna do a deal here with, uh, with a Papa G, huh? Okay, we gotta go. So what do you guys wanna do on these? Cause I gotta go. I want these. He's already got the good ones. <laughs> I just like that one for myself. These two are flat. I don't want these. Keep those for him. So you're trying to get the Burberry? The Citizen, the Movado. <laughs> we did rock, paper, scissors too on who gets first pick in the freaking car and he whooped me like three times, but you know, I gotta come in like a rattlesnake in the night. Okay, well rattlesnake in the night, I want 300 for those three watches. God, this dude's getting trippy with his prices, it's insane. No, I'm getting what I paid for. I'm 720 into this. Yeah, wait for it, wait for it. Uh, uh. Yeah, I know, they're, they're all freaking, they're all, this one you can sell for 500 bucks by itself. I want 300 for these three. This one's 500 by itself. You're looking at five, two, two. You're looking at five, six, seven, nine hundred dollars. Watch this watch, everybody. Watch this watch. I'm actually gonna keep this one, I think. You guys yeah, that's a nice one. I like that I one. I think it's still moving. You gotta be careful with that. 
Joe, we gotta go. He's gonna be waiting. Where are you guys going? Got another hookup. Let's roll. They call us. No, we we got this Who? guy. He can't. He doesn't want anybody over. Oh. The, the guy we bought all this he's stuff weird. from called us. I think I'm back. Yeah. He, he, he's gonna do better pricing because we walked away. We walked away. He called back. Said, I'm gonna give you super do. You come back. So you look at that stuff and let me know. I'm selling to you for exactly what I paid for it. Who knows? 150. All of it. Minus that situation. train. Well, you gotta work that out with Tony because he owns it now. Well, yeah. It's about a hundred dollar mask. Plus that other one that you lifted up besides two. You put it all in a box. I'm not making a dime on you. This is cool. Yeah, there's two of them. You tell me that ain't cool. It's not about just what they're rare. You can ask whatever you want because guess what? Go find one. Yeah. There's two of those in there. And you don't find those things all the time. Tony, what do you want to do on these real quick? Because I got to go. He paid you 300 for those other ones? No. <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh, you're right there. So you're going to buy those or no? The only way you're going to make your deal, Tony, when you walk into their house, and you should let them know that you are a serious buyer, that you got the money. Yeah. That you don't just walk in with tens and you don't yeah. just put a dollar around it, that you got the real stuff. You got the money. If you ain't got the money, then stay home. Yep, yep. If you want to get some good stuff at some good sales, some good quality merchandise, you got to have money. You're going to spend $2. You paid 500 for all those? And like three other ones, but the what other ones ain't no good. Oh my God. Yeah, it's because I'm buying stuff, man. That watch is loans 500, that one. So I did it. I got two other ones, but the other ones are junk. Oh, and that one right there with that one added. Joe, we gotta go. And the aviator sunglasses? See the 20s, 20, 57? Yeah. 27, 27. 24 karat. That's the same ones they just sold for 180. I'll take 40 for them. I'll buy them for 40. Cheap okay. to ship. Yeah, it's cheap to ship and everything. Fast, easy. Yeah, so I'll buy these from you for 40, which I'm probably... Oh, man, I wish I didn't have a prescription. I'd wear these, bro. They're not I can't prescription. See. I know oh, what I'm saying. Yeah, right, I can't yeah, see. Right. I'd wear these. Okay, oh, so nice. what else do you want? What do you want for these? I don't even... I haven't even looked this one up, but it looks sick. Alto watch? I'll do 50 for both of these, so 90 together. I'll do 80 for all three of these. 120, throw that in. You're gonna make that 120 up. for all these? Yeah, that's I'm not can't go no lower. Cause I'm literally giving it to you what I'm into it for. I'll do 120 for this. You you'll make more than that on those. Done deal. Done deal. Here I'm gonna you put these back in the up. House. You wanna wait? What do you wanna do? You want... You said uh, there's two of these beer cars in here. There's two of those complete with the men and everything. There's barrels in there. So trains and the locomotive. There's three carts. One, two, and the locomotive. You got the face and the airplane metals, two of those, and also that. All right, so uh, Joseph and Steve just left to go back to another private pick. Um, I paid him $120 for all this stuff. These glasses here sell for about 180, so I'll be able to get my money back out of those and I'll be in the profit. And then I've got uh, these three watches here. I didn't look this one up, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop up on the screen comps on that one. It's next, and I know that's at least like a $50 sale. Being conservative, this one's probably, I don't know, $40. Hey guys, so as you know, we sell uh, primarily on eBay, or I do at least, uh, but we got this cool display case I wanted to show you here, which is really good uh, for having yard sales. A lot of the lower dollar items are the items that you can't really move online. Uh, you can move at a yard sale um, for, you know, pretty good profit. So. This is all the stuff that we got in the display case right now. A lot of 10, 15, 20, 30 dollar items. And it looks cool too. Look, we got the American flag in the background. Watch, close it real quick. Look at that. Oh, you show up to a yard sale like that, you're ready to just spend some dollars. You know, it's really funny too. We pulled up to the sale at the same time, uh, Joseph uh, here and I, and we, um, we went straight for the knives and he freaking scout me for the good ones. Look, these are all the good <laughs> ones right here. He's got the Spider Co, which is a great knife. Anything from this brand, you're gonna want to pick up. 
the buck it's like a fishing knife but anything buck usa you want to pick up and then this one was you said k-bar whenever you find these you're gonna want to pick them up as long as it's at the right price all right so um i pulled this learning lab out of his shed you've probably seen it in another video he <laughs> bought it from his dad like a couple weeks ago and i was asking him about it asking him how much he want for it because it sells for like a hundred and and wait 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 don't mean to cut you off there brother i love you check this out you guys remember these knives right these are the knives that i had just bought at a yard sell previously to this conversation make me an offer <laughs> oh man make me an offer brother so i said i'd be at 25 on the learning lab i don't know what are you thinking you tell me brother two dollars you can't do dollar ninety you seen it there, you too. No, but seriously, uh, I don't know, what are you offer, thinking? Bro. You shoot me an offer. I paid 20 for these. I think I'm either 20 or 10 into this. It's kind of be stupid if I'm 20 and to take 25 and I'm helping you out. We both know what it sells for. So anything more than that, it's kind of like, oh crap, I'm in the gutter, you know? You wanna do 50? Nah. That'd be 25 for this and then 25 for the pair here. Oh, but you paid 20 for those, huh? You wanna do 80 and then just give me 300? Cause you owe me 220. 120 there and then 100 at that kid's house. 1640 is what I handed you. So that'd be 300 flat. I'm spending way too much money. <laughs> I mean, that's 80 bucks, bro. 20, 40, 60, 80. Which, I mean, you can't really look at it like that. But I mean. Well, yeah, because this right here will sell for 80. This is your money back all day long. And yeah. your crap moves fast. You already know that. You could put this on and it would sell. I have mine on. I got 145 views on it. I put it on there probably like a week ago. Probably yeah. two weeks ago, it's when I got those shoes that I did that, and that was last weekend's video. So you said 80 for all this? 80 bucks. I paid 20 for that, so I'm making, I don't know. We'll stick to 25 on this, and then that puts that, what's 25 minus 80? Well, I just know what you, I know what you uh, paid for, and I want you to make money on it too, so. 80 yeah, I'll do 80. I'll do, I'll do 80 on it. A good little th 300. Let me get it, yep. Cool, bro. So I just bought this from him for 80. <laughs> um, I'm gonna list this for 100. <laughs> I'm gonna list each one of these knives for about 50. <laughs> um, so that's about $250 in value on my 80. After fees, I'll make about 180 probably. I don't know, 200. So I'll double my money a little bit, double my money. But yeah, that's why that's why these guys love me and that's why we're good friends. Cause I'm a good buyer, man. I buy stuff and I sit on it and I sell it. Look at that hearse. Pick blow hearse with the nitrous first. Make the sports coop fly in the Chevy boys crowd. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, so thanks so much for watching. Um, we just wanted to kind of pump this video out real quick and show you guys, uh, you know, a good little bit of value here. Again, you know, uh, the main thing is that there's opportunity everywhere. You know, as you see here, we buy and sell from each other. That's like what we do so much. Um, we do it all the time and we all make money doing it. And it's Thursday. We went out to five sales. We came out with a few hundred dollars in profit. So all you got to do is just get out there, you know, make some friends, talk to some people and get that money. Don't Bro. forget. My bad. I felt in this pocket and I was feeling weird and I was like, what the heck is this? I pulled it out of the pocket. Large, Carhartt quick. That dude paid $110 for this and you gave him eight bucks. So yeah. In the jacket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I paid $8 for this jacket that he's wearing right here, this Carhartt jacket. And it's literally jacket. brand new, dude. And there was a receipt in there. Where and then he paid me this? 40 for it. My bad, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh no, you're good. Looking at that crap. It's funny though. Whoa, this dude bought this in 2014. Yeah, but it's a good one though. Like he didn't even wear it. He might have worn it once. It's a really good car jacket. He bought a couple gift cards. Yeah, that's that a crap. nice jacket, bro. Yeah, look. Carhartt men's jacket. $65.99, but it was $109 original price. So he got it on a deal. Oh, he got it for $71.34? Yeah, but it was originally $110. Yeah, but it's all good because I paid uh, I paid $8 for it. You paid $40. We both got a good deal. So back to what I was saying, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to buy low and sell high. Hey, actually real quick, we wanted to just go ahead and show you this super sick Pocket Monsters Pokemon game he bought online. Man, that thing is so cool, bro. Tell us about it. I can't do $2 for it. Well, he's trying to sell it to me, but he bought it for what, 50? 54 or something. Yeah, but I mean, I, I don't want to pay $50 for it, but it's cool. Dude said that he had put a new battery in it and all that stuff. Yeah, I didn't even know that these games came with batteries. or They have a battery in the back of them. And it's complete in box.
for sale and use in Japan only and under commercial rental prohibited. So that means you're not allowed to have this in the US. <laughs> you're not supposed to, huh? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, bro, but it's Japanese. It's complete in box and it's Pokemon Red. And you paid 50? Was that a good deal? I don't know the market on those. 50 bucks is pretty good. What do they sell for? Uh, 50 bucks. <laughs> yeah. That's cool, bro. I'll just set that on your th on your thing and just look at it. Set yeah, it on I your... got this, and then I got an all Japanese Vivid Voltage booster box with all the decks in it and all the booster packs. Comes with like 36 booster packs. I got that in the room, too. It's like this big. It's a little Yeah, because we're just freaking Pokemon nerds. Yeah, so uh, real quick, we're just going to go ahead and talk about a sale that he had uh, yesterday. It was a... It's like a big old buck knife, and it sells for... Well, he's going to tell you about it right now. So check this out. I got this knife here and a lot from my father. Why is it so pretty much what are you into this knife for? 100 bucks maybe. Maybe so, 100 bucks. Okay, so you bought it for 100 and how much you sell it for? You want me to show him the picture? Yeah. <laughs> show him the picture. I got the and this thing right sold quick too. What's funny is his dad uh, messaged me and he showed me a picture of the knife. I looked it up real quick and it was selling all day for six to $700. And I was like, how much do you want for it? Called him. I was talking to him for a couple seconds. He says, hold up. Joseph's right here. <laughs> he sends me a message like... 10 minutes later with a sold uh, notification screenshot for like, how much did it sell for? $763.76 he sold I put it on and, and five minutes later, the first viewer, bro, look at that. Oh. It's a M9 USMC Buck USA CPL BM Sweat, or Sweet, whatever you like to call it, but it's a bayonet. It's yeah. It's cool Bucky. Don't drop that, bro. You chip the freaking thing on that. <laughs> it's going to cost you a PSA 10. <laughs> when an item like that sells so quick, either two things. Either you priced it too low, which I don't think you did. Honestly, I, think I don't I think good. you. Yeah, I think you did good. And um, or it's just such a highly collectible item. There's probably someone out there that has a saved search. And the guy probably got a notification on his phone right away. Oh, you know, this item is available. And he hopped on there and just purchased it right away. Five minutes, brother. Seven hundred sixty-three dollars. All right, guys. So we're finally going to get going here. But uh, anyways, don't forget to buy low. So have a great day.